Well, here we are, the Sula International Museum of Toilets. It's a must-see, I've got to say. It's fun, informational, kind of funny sometimes. Anyway, there's a lot to see. Come on in. Oh, I'm here in Delhi, India. Love Toilet Museum, and they do an amazing job mm -hmm. showing you uh, actual where these things happen, but the history of toilets for the last 4,500 years, starting in the Harappan civilization here, India and Pakistan, some of the earliest toilets ever, um, and then they, if you just look for it at some of these, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And they have a whole history of toilets, uh, and then it comes right up into uh, European as well as Asian actual displays from from uh, Buddhist nuns use this uh, terracotta pan in their toilets over here we see loads of great information but also little models so I think this was in the USA around 1920s they had upstairs and downstairs toilets management higher <coughs> folks would be in the upper and the employees or lower socioeconomic groups perhaps in the downstairs. I wasn't there, but that's what they say. Anyway, uh, again, going through lots of history and there are awards. Um, they have models of toilets that have been tested with dummies that uh, weigh a lot and can go hundreds, thousands of times in the toilet. And here we see a model of this was uh, in Europe. The British princess. The British royalty. France. Is it British people? France. France, British and France. So it's a it's a great all-in-one. So they use it as a table, they use it as an end table, and then you pick it up and you have the toilet right there. So here we can close it again. And then once you're done, you can go back to dinner. <laughs> and this one? Louis the Fourteenth, an actual Louis the Fourteenth. He, I guess, had a long time to go to the bathroom, so he would hold court, and perhaps he would put a cushion on there sometimes. Meeting, yeah, meetings. But then, if he had to go to the bathroom, he would not stop the meeting. He would just open it up, start doing his business, and keep the meeting going. Yeah. Anything else we want to say? Oh, what is this one? Small size. Small size model of the same, yeah. Oh, over here there's a great thing too. Um, we're just doing highlights. You should definitely come, read all of the blurbs, read all of the information. Some of it's hilarious, some of it's very interesting. Um, but here they have a model of where in Thailand they taught the elephants, who are very smart, to paint, to dance, play musical instruments, but also have toilet trained them to use a giant toilet. So that's awful fun. That's Chiang Mai. Uh, oh, this one is also from royalty. Uh, myself. Anyway, this was uh, one of the, the great rulers of Europe uh, who would be here <coughs> having court, taking meetings, and then, without even having to interrupt, could use the facilities. And then I'm sure I have one of the servants take it away. This has, is a, one of the new ideas coming along to have armrests, camping, and this was, whose was this? That is a um, sofa from China. From France? No, 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 that was being used in England, Victorian era. Ah, Victorian era in England. And then this one, you can just purchase one of these, you can put it over top of a squat toilet to turn it into a western toilet. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and here is a handy idea. For those people, all the Westerners that can't do the flat, you can have a raised seat. Ah, modern with the... Uh, that is a watch like from Japanese technology. Yeah, Japan where you get vibrating, heating, cooling, cleansing, the whole nine. Oh, this was cool. This one, you can wash your hands here, 
saves water because then you can use the water to flush. So you can save a lot of water that way, which is great. And here we have a fancy model. It says deluxe, so it's probably very deluxe, which it incinerates your what have you, uh, often used on ships, boats, uh, things like that, and then it's totally harmless. Um, and you can just throw it over. So here we see some models of fun loving things like an ashtray toilet, European poo, and the what is now the second largest toilet complex in the world, uh, made by Sula. Don't forget to notice the elephant painted with the toilet brush. Alright, so let's look at some of the toilets here at Sula. You can get one made depending on what materials are available in your village or local locality of bricks, of clay, of bamboo, of, and this is just the holes, uh, of concrete, and they're awfully homey. All you need right there. You can even get inclined foot spots if you like to have a little angle on your feet. Some Westerners have a hard time with that flat foot thing. Well, look inside here. Isn't that nice? You could put tar coating over the wood so that it won't rot. So when you got your yourself up here, go in the body. This here is a pit lined with wood logs for the tar. And if you go down either this way or this way, it becomes compost. You can use it for anything. I love this one over here. This is a great one. You can no need to be a door. You just kind of wind around like a cod shell and there you go. So here I'll go on in. I go back out. Now you go on in. Oh. But there's some really cool ones before we go. Come on over here. Because you've got, if you make clay in your village, you can have clay lines. Tips. But, check it out. Let's say you make bricks, you can do everything with brick. But, sometimes you can make a hot climbing. This might be that is I don't know if any of that rain to rain. Going into a plastic porta giant gets so hot. This one allows for a lot of air to come right in. And if your local area has a lot of grasses like this, this can be a great option. Yeah, oh, and here's another one. Check out this homey feature. I love this one too. So again, this one will allow for low breathing, still have privacy, and you can use whatever local materials you have for curtains. You could put on Fancy Western kind. And look at all the different materials they use. I mean, that's pretty cool. Well, there you have it. The Sulab International Museum of Toilets in Delhi, India, which covers the fascinating and sometimes funny history of toilets. Not only are they focused on the past, but are also a resource, research, and education center for the present and future toilet needs of some underserved communities. They've pioneered making eco-friendly, sustainable toilets, and even in generating electricity from the waste deposited in them. I highly recommend a visit.